Hey everybody, there she is, my new old Speed Air, I think it's 25 gallon air compressor. I've been looking for one of these for a while. Uh, this one here is a uh, model 3Z406, which is an older model, industrial duty uh, compressor. This thing's a real beast. The newer ones have a... Um, uh, direct drive motor, or if it's a belt drive motor, it's not a good one. And they have uh, uh, aluminum heads with a cast iron sleeve. This guy, on the other hand, solid cast iron all the way through. The head, of course, is made of aluminum still, but the uh, the body itself is made of cast iron. Belt drive. Uh, in good condition actually. I took the nozzle off the front. There's no drain valve on this thing that I can see. If you can know there is one in the back there I guess. But I took this off, dumped it out and it was clean. Only a couple drops of rusty, not rusty, clear water come out of it. So I'm feeling pretty good about the condition of the tank. I took off this old I took off this old Dayton air compressor dryer thing. It sort of, it sort of seeped a little bit from that uh, drain valve there. And uh, I, I just don't like it. It's too bulky. I'm going to keep it. It's worth a lot of money, I think. But um, I'll hang on to it. If I need it, I'll put it back. In the meantime, I bought this Harbor Freight uh, pressure regulator and this uh, ball valve so I don't have constant pressure on my hoses all the time. Because I always keep my compressors just on all the time. And I drain them every once in a while, but I don't turn them on and off. I just use them intermittently through the week. So... I never shut them off. They shut off themselves on pressure and that's it. But, yeah, this is a cool old compressor. You know, they don't make them like they used to. Single horsepower, one phase. It fills the tank up 25 gallons in like a couple of minutes. And uh, if you give me a second here, I'll plug it in for you guys so you can see what it sounds like. But, uh, yeah, this is old beast. Now, this one replaces my old Harbor Freight compressor. I'll walk over here to it. That guy over there. This is also a good compressor. It's uh, eight gallon. This one paid like eighty nine bucks for it. it. Runs like a top. Also stays in plugged in all the time. You know, if you guys are looking for a small compressor, I highly recommend this one here. Uh, it's served me well over the years. I just needed something with more capacity. That's all. And uh, I like the speed air. You know, I like this old this old look too. <laughs> I'm not even gonna clean it up. I just like the way it looks like a just a just a badass old compressor. Anyways, let's plug her in and see what she sounds like. Give me a second here. It's got a short cord, so I gotta pull it in close. She's still holding pressure, so let me go ahead and open up this valve and let some air out of it. And then we'll see when she kicks in. Make sure everything's clear. No belts, nothing like that. I think around 80 is when it kicks back in. Stops at like 90 or 95. Almost 100. It's hot. There you go. pressure valve pops and just sips, sips out a little bit of air and then it holds pressure all night 100 psi it drops maybe a couple psi overnight that's it but uh, I don't hear it cycling and uh, you know I think it's in good shape so I'm really excited about it I'll make future videos when I start running my tools off of it uh, I need to do an oil change I believe all these old compressors you drain the oil out of there and you fill it back in there 10w40 according to the uh, the label on the side there so I'll keep you guys posted thanks for watching